Hi everyone. What does the highest level of unemployment in the US since the 1930s mean for the dollar, gold and stocks? Well, I'll do my best to answer that question in this video as I preview the week ahead starting May 4th in financial markets. I can't quite believe forecasts are for an unemployment rate of 14% in the United States in April. We're literally going from the most Americans employed in 50 years to levels last seen in the Great Recession in just the space of a couple of months, which is obviously not only tragic for those people who have lost their jobs, but also has huge ramifications for financial markets. Now, before I get to that, I will quickly run down some of the highlights from the economic calendar. We've got a lot of PMIs out this week from China to Europe to the UK and the US. The expectation is that we actually get a bounce back in April, so, so let's see if that happens. Clearly the RBA meeting is a big deal for the Aussie dollar, which is at pre-pandemic highs against the British pound, by the way. The big monthly data set for the US labour market is on Wednesday with that ADP. Then on Thursday, we have Chinese export data, which will be interesting. China is still very export dependent and the rest of the world is in lockdown in April. So this could be pretty ugly. We've got the Bank of England meeting on Thursday and then the big kahuna on Friday at non-farm payrolls. Now, before I discuss the likely impact on the dollar and other markets from this historic loss of jobs in America, can I ask that if you are enjoying this video so far, please click that like button and the YouTube algorithm will make sure that people see it, which means we can keep producing these videos. Okay, let's take a first look at the gravity of what we're dealing with on this chart from Trading Economics for the US unemployment rate going back to the Second World War. Now in 2008, in the financial crisis, it hit 10%, and in the 1970s, it was 10.8%. Now look at some of these headlines where unemployment could literally be headed to 20% and forecasts from economists including the White House think it could even go up to 30% by mid-year. So okay, so that looks pretty bad, right? And that must be bad news for the US dollar. Well, not so fast, it looks just as bad elsewhere. It's just that we're focusing on the US because it's the world's biggest economy. Unemployment is spiking everywhere so it offers no comparative advantages to one country over another. There certainly could be a negative dollar reaction to what happened on Friday. In fact, that is what happened last week because, of, all, of course, it is very bad news for the US and it might encourage the Fed to print even more money and devalue the dollar. Equally, something we've seen in reaction to record jobless claims is that the dollar gains as a safe haven if stock, it's, if stock markets react badly to the news. I think gold probably does the opposite to dollar, so if we do get a dollar sell-off, we could easily be looking at fresh seven-year highs in gold. So what about stock markets? Well, last month, stocks did react negatively to the rise in unemployment rate, and that was just to 4.4%, so it's logical they would react negatively to 14%. However, this GDP has been forecast for a while, and the hope is that it's, sh it's a short-term shock, and then the economy bounces back quickly when these lockdown policies are eased. So it sounds crazy to say this, but the US unemployment data will probably have to come in much worse than 14% for the stock markets to drop on this news. Okay, good luck trading this week and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our next video.